So your comments actually is echoing the, the comments made by Mr. John Kerry a lot not, not long ago. He said it's, Africa is very important for the future um, US, but he also, made, he also said that this is a game I mean, between the United States and also China and its continent. And US has already been left behind of China in this place. And the United States is going to do something to win this game. So how do you see this kind of trilateral relationship? Well, I wouldn't like to see it as a game. I think is Africa's too serious to be treated as a game. But what I will say is that China has replaced the United States as Africa's largest trading partner. That is a fact. Um, and I think that should be a sign. But what I think would be useful to see some trilateral cooperation between the United States and China. Is it feasible? Of course it's feasible as possible. I mean, we in America, we cooperate with China on so many other fronts. I think it's absolutely possible. I think the kind of contributions that America is making to Africa and the significant contributions China is making in terms of infrastructure development are very synergistic. So I think that uh, the trilateral cooperation is possible and that would really be transformative. If you look at what America is doing and you look at the increasing rate at which China is investing in Africa and engaging Africa. Certainly if we had uh, all three um, all the regions of the world coming together, um, committed to the transformation and growth of, of Africa, that would be a good win-win for everyone, I believe. But some of the local Africanists, they are claiming that if this kind of partnership is forged between the most powerful economies of the world, and Africa will be the one that will be exploited by this partnership. How do you think about this? Well, I, well, they're forgetting that Africa should be in the driving seat. I'm not talking about a partnership. I'm talking trilateral cooperation, where Africa is actually helping to devise and drive the solutions and the agenda. Not one where America and China gets together and decide, okay, how are we going to carve up Africa? That is an outdated old model, didn't work, disgusting. But if we're talking about when where African leaders and African people are at the table with an equal voice and contributing to the design of some kind of compact development, investment, a growth, then certainly Africa could gain from that. So specifically speaking, what kind of sectors or industries that we could start with about this, um, the prospective trilateral cooperation? Well, I think if, when I look at, we should start with how, what America can do to incentivize private sector investments in Africa, and we can look at what China is doing already. China is really invested in infrastructure in Africa, which is incredibly important. Infrastructure, the paucity of infrastructure, contributes to the highest cost of doing business in Africa. Without infrastructure, it's very hard to have any kind of economic development. I think if you add America's technology and technical know-how to the infrastructure that um, China is, is, is investing in, and you have the African innovation and ideas and financing for those ideas, I think that that is one area we could start marrying technology and infrastructure with African innovation, African ideas, African labor, um, African scientists, uh, and um, I, I think that that could work. I see no reason why it could.